Welcome back to my channel. It's not gonna be long till spring is around the corner and if you're like me and you like to change your makeup up seasonally, an example I can give you is that during the winter season I like to use palettes like these. This is the Roman Dusty Fog palette. If you have been on my channel you know how much I enjoy this palette when I want cool toned smoky makeup looks. During the spring this is not really a color story that I like to gravitate towards. I like to have it as a complementary palette but but I much rather prefer shades like these. So today I want to focus on this palette which is also from Romand and it is the Peony Nude Garden. Look at that. It's a cool tone lovers summer cool personal color type dream. If you are into the entire personal color thing and you are a summer cool or you just enjoy pinks and very neutral browns. This palette is so perfect for the upcoming spring season. And I wanted to show you this palette a little bit, talk about it, and also show you how I did my eye makeup because I did it using this palette and I really like my eye makeup. Without further ado, let's get right into this. When it comes to these palettes from Romand, I really enjoy the fact that I have the most simple, packaging you can imagine. I just have this one for reference, you know. It's very simple, it's clear, you have Roman written at the bottom and the color of the actual palette just fits the actual shadows perfectly. I think the packaging is amazing and it doesn't feel cheap, even though it is not that expensive. So that's definitely a plus point. Looking at the actual arrangement of the palette, one thing that you will notice with these Roman palettes is that they go from light to dark in a beautiful gradient. Let's say on one day you don't know for the life of you what makeup look to do, you can just start with the lightest shade and work your way up to the darkest. And since they don't really jump that hard in terms of of depth, like it doesn't go from this color all the way to this darkest shade, but you have shades in between. When you use one after the other or you mix them together on your eye, you will have the most seamless gradient effect and you will not have harsh edges. The formula doesn't allow for harsh edges because they're so buttery smooth. If you just have more lines, this formula is so beautiful and so forgiving. If you look at this color story, it is more light. So if you're into deeper shades, I would recommend you to check out their other palettes because they have a bunch of different color stories. This palette I would recommend for those of you who just enjoy cool tones or pinks, but you don't need an entire palette with 10 different pink shadows because how many pinks do you really need? I like that this palette only has like this actual like soft pink color. This is definitely a mauve shade, this is more of a mid-tone, and then you have like beige and browns. So you actually have everything you need in one palette. That makes it, in my opinion, just so easy to use. Each palette has a different arrangement of textures, and in this one you have a glitter, very soft, elegant glitter, a shimmer that shifts kind of like from gold to pink. It's so beautiful on the eyes and it isn't too much. Like on days where you don't want to apply glitter because you feel like it's going to overpower your eye look, this type of color is just going to give you a soft little sheen. And then you have this color over here on top that is kind of like a matte with glitter in it. I like these types of shades when I really don't have time so I can apply the shade all over and it'll still look I put a lot of effort into it because you'll be able to to see some flecks of glitter. You can see this almost as two five pans. You can do an entire look with only this top row. It'll give you a very soft kind of powdery pink look. Or you can use the bottom row and it'll give you more of a neutral brown. But you can still mix all these colors together. Everything works harmoniously together. You can see here it's almost the same thing. You know, you have two kind of five pans and you can just follow along or mix them all together. Now one thing that could be a little bit of like I would say a con for people is that if I compare the pigmentation of this palette for instance to the Dusty Fog palette, I find some shadows a little bit more soft in coloration which is not a bad thing especially when you go with this powdery kind of pink. If you use one that is too intense in color it can make your eyes look puffy. Like if I imagine this type of pink in a western formula that tends to be very pigmented, I think my eye would look very swollen and it 
would just look kind of weird. I don't know, for me personally, I just don't think I would enjoy it. So for that reason, I actually enjoy that this formula is a little softer. I feel like it just makes the overall eye makeup look more flattering. Same thing goes for this darkest shade that I used to smoke up my eyeliner. It's not the darkest color. If we compare the darkest shade in this palette to this, you can definitely tell that this shade is a lot softer. So it doesn't always give me the most intense you know, smoked out effect that I want. I tend to go back into this palette or any other that has a deeper color. So keep in mind that this palette overall is a lot more soft and natural, which if you are a natural makeup lover and you tend to generally do your makeup in a very soft manner, then I think that this palette is going to complement your makeup style a lot. With all this being said, let's jump into the demo. Since I usually do makeup looks that tend to go into this more pink kind of situation, I was thinking about doing something more soft brown and then add one of these pinky kind of shimmers on top. I think that will look very pretty. So let's start with that. Before I go into any of the deeper browns, I'm still going to add a base color because it just helps to create an even layer. So I'm going to be mixing these two shades together now I'm adding these two colors into the outer part of my eye and into my crease and as I'm applying it into my outer V I like to feather it almost into the middle of my eye so it creates a very soft gradient effect For just a little bit of a shimmer without actually being glitter, I'm going to use this mauve color that, or like mid-tone pink because it has a lot of shimmer in it. So I'm taking this and I'm just lightly going over my lid before I add any of the glitters. I'm going into this shimmer color. This one is a little bit more of just like a regular shimmer with a beautiful pink gold kind of shift. And taking a little bit of the glitter and adding that, I guess, only right in the center. I did my eyeliner and I'm taking the darkest shade and apply that right over the liner. I added my mascara to finish the eye and this is one of the looks that I would do with this palette and I really like it. It's a very soft, smoky kind of effect with a little bit of glitter that isn't too much. As you can see, the glitter is not over the top. It's one of those very small, fine glitters, so this will look very elegant and not cheap or chunky. To kind of sum up my thoughts about this palette, I would recommend it to those of you who enjoy a natural effect on the eye, nothing that is over the top. You want natural shades that will match your cool undertone or if you just have a baby pink kind of preference. I like that you have enough options so that it doesn't just look pink every time because there are certain palettes like no matter what color you use you end up with a similar look and I feel like with this you can at least decide between a brown or a pink everything flows together the formula is super foolproof it is a little bit more powdery but that tends to make everything blend out so much better and actually create more of like a blurred eye effect and then if you top it off with one of the glitters your eyes will look like you put so much effort into them and they will look just so pretty. I really enjoy this palette for every day when I just want to do simple makeup. And if you pair this, let's say, with other Roman products like their blushes or their lip tints, like today I'm actually wearing the Blur Fudge tint in Cooling Up. I felt like they just complemented each other. Then you get kind of like a 
tone on tone, almost monochromatic look that will look just super flattering. I hope my video was helpful for you to decide if you need this palette in your life, if it's something for you, if it fits your makeup style. If it was helpful for you, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And I hope to see you next week in another video. And until then, please take care.